Hello folks, welcome to the channel and a brand new video. Today's video, we are talking settings. Now, uh, I've been messing around with Microsoft Flight Sim now for a few weeks, uh, especially obviously since the new aircraft have been out, you can check back through the channel and look at those new videos. I've done some uh, videos on the Phoenix and the new PMDG in Microsoft Flight Sim. Today, I wanted to touch upon uh, my current settings in the sim like I said I've been messing around with my current settings for the past couple of weeks now I'm sort of more heavily involved in Microsoft Flight Sim so I wanted to share my settings with you um, I will put some caveats in now that I'm running a i9 9900k processor with a 2070 super graphics card and 32 gigs of RAM so just bear that in mind when you're looking at these settings that if you if you copy these settings and great but just be aware that obviously these are for my spec PC. So obviously bear that in mind, please guys, because obviously I don't want you guys to copy my settings and you have like really bad performance in, in, um, in your sim because obviously you haven't got the same level of PC as me. But what we'll do is we'll dive straight in. So I've got the display mode, full screen resolution, obviously they're depending on what you prefer. Uh, rendering scale, I've got to 100. V-Sync is switched to off. If you, have, if you turn V-Sync on, obviously you can set your FPS limits um, and HD 10. I have V-Sync switched off. Uh, RTX version, I am using 11. Uh, read some stuff about DX12, but it's obviously in beta. Uh, probably would recommend against doing that for just the time being. Um, just till new it gets released properly etc uh global rendering quality i've got it set to custom but obviously that changes depending on old settings down below so anti-aliasing taa i've got terrain level of detail i've got set to 100 off screen terrain pre-caching is set to high terrain vectoring data ultra buildings ultra trees are high grass and bushes are set to high object level of detail is set to 100 volumetric clouds and texture resolution all set to ultra uh, and to uh, i can't even say that and the filtering <laughs> 16 times texture sampling off uh, texture syn synthesis is set to ultra get my words out uh, water waves set to medium shadows one five three six terrain shadows five one two contact shadows set to high, uh, ultra wind shear effects high uh, ambient ambient occlusion set to high uh, cube map reflection set to one nine or two uh, ray march reflections ultra light shafts ultra uh, bloom is on depth of field ultra motion blur high lens correction is switched off lens flare is on and glass cockpit refresh rate is set to high now you can pause that anytime obviously um so they're just my sort of settings um and i can and what i'll do is sort of run through my other settings on so my camera settings etc uh next so camera settings then so camera selection is set to cockpit quick view function hold smart camera hold zoom uh, function manual focus mode is set to hold so these are the cockpit cameras you've got instrument cameras um i'll tell you what i'll do is i'll pause for a split second you can pause the video if you wish just to copy these settings rather than me talk for each individual one because it might just be easier for you just to pause the video and then move on to the next one okay sound then so um again these are pretty much self-explanatory i will quickly whiz through these um i'll whiz through these quickly so i think most of these are default at the box but headphone simulation off warning sounds uh, in internal view is set to off uh vhf signal uh, degra uh degradation is set to on active spa uh, spartal sound on that makes it obviously sound way better in headphones convert audio to mono set to off atc text to speak setting i've got to azure and music selection i've got set to the good old ultra uh, uh legacy sorry um sounds but i actually have them switched off at the minute don't don't want them on so when it comes to the levels these are my levels they're obviously completely dictated to what you want obviously you copy them don't copy them it's completely up to you and uh, we'll move swiftly on to traffic so these are my traffic settings then again these are all uh as you require them pretty much personal preference i think it's pretty much default to be pretty honest with you um i'm not seeing many things that i changed from the original setup so i can say i pause for a split second and you guys can choose which ones you want to do and then move on uh, data uh, again 
these are pretty much default settings everything set to on when it comes to connection wise uh, there's no data limitation bandwidth is set to unlimited and rolling cache is on and obviously that's the location of my uh cache uh file so um that is pretty much it I haven't got anything in flight model misc is obviously as again your personal preference uh developer mode obviously you can set it on if you want to uh and that is oh there's actually a couple more things i've done in here um so i have got the text to 20 uh interface scale is set to 80 cockpit uh, legacy menu tooltips off instrument names off uh background opacity i've got set 60 just looks a bit nice a bit more uh not so see-through just a bit nice set 60 um and that is it i haven't got anything else that i've got um to show you that i've not done i've not changed from default so that is it a lovely short video for you guys i hope you've enjoyed the video like i say please pause at any time just to obviously grab my settings my graphic settings or any other settings that i've shown you today if not please do link uh, leave a like on the video and you're not yet a subscriber to the channel please do consider that head considering hitting that subscribe button i've been really grateful for all the support recently in my last few videos i ho may hope that can continue because you guys have been amazing thank you very very much i've been taking virtual and i'll see you next time